Today we are going to be doing this beautiful soft glam look. Oh my gosh, it's been a minute since I've dove right into one of these makeup looks, like really soft glam, but I am obsessed. It's real nice and dewy, real nice and soft, and it feels comfortable on the skin, and you still look amazing, like red carpet ready, okay? Make sure that you keep watching to get this look. What's up you guys and welcome to my channel for those of you who are new. My name is Kira and today we're going to be doing this beautiful soft glam look. Oh my gosh, it looks amazing. You are literally going to be red carpet ready after this look. Like snap on them, snap on them in your house. Get your cute little snapchats, okay? I know we can't really leave and go nowhere, but you can still snap on them at home, post a nice flick on the gram and period. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this look and let's go ahead and hop right into it. All right, I think what I'm gonna start doing is have my monitor here, but just check back on it every now and again because I find that I look here all the time, even though I have a mirror right in front of me, right under the camera. We're gonna go ahead and hop right into it. You guys can see I clipped my hair back. It gets kind of crazy and in the way, so especially when it comes to doing face products, like it gets pretty bad, so I gotta pin it back. And we're gonna go ahead and hop right into it. So to start off, I've actually been doing my makeup up in like a different order recently normally the brows is like the first thing I do before I moisturize before I prime before I do anything because I don't like my brows to be like slick when I start to fill them in because I find that it like messes with the consistency of the product and just in the end causes problems with my brows but I actually haven't been filling in my brows too crazy recently so I think it'll be a lot easier now if I just go ahead and do my face products and you know fill in my brows afterwards for the simple fact that then I go in and conceal and then I'll have to conceal twice because foundation might get in my brows and you don't have to worry about all of that as much if you just do your brows later on in the process so I think that's what I'm gonna start doing and I've been doing it the past couple of times that I've gotten ready and it hasn't caused any problems so hopefully it doesn't cause a problem on camera okay but we're gonna go ahead and hop right into it so for my base y'all know I love mixing stuff first off I've already moisturized my face my skin is clean I'm moisturized with my same old same old products if you watch any of my skincare routines you already know the rundown like the basic stuff that I use to moisturize so I'm gonna go ahead and grab my primers so I love to mix like I said today I'm going to be using the Fenty this is a pro filter primer I believe they came out with new ones but this is like the OG primer that's what I'm using and I'm also gonna take my no problem touch and sole this is the liquid one y'all know I was using like the cream one for a while but I actually decided to go back to this one because I forgot how much I love it and these two mix together I love to mix a hydrating primer with a mattifying primer to get like my easy balance and these two together are perfect a pump with my face I probably over prime like I probably use a little more product than I should be using but we're just gonna ignore that because it's not that big a video right I don't think so We are going to go ahead and prime and I also like to stick to a more hydrating primer in general when I'm going for a more soft glam look because soft glam isn't like super cakey, super matte, super like dry on the face. Like it, it, it's like skin but like a second layer. Like you know that they have makeup on but like I don't know how to explain it. It's like different from like a natural face but like right before full face like cakey, matte, dry. You know what I mean? I think these two together work perfectly. Get your skin right, fills in any pores, makes your skin nice and soft and smooth while also staying hydrated and a perfect base to start off your look. So the next product that I'm gonna reach for, of course we're gonna move into foundation and actually start getting into the face products. So I'm gonna be using my Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. I've been using this for years and I honestly can tell you I swear by this stuff. It's literally super cheap. You can get it from like Walmart for like five bucks and it's amazing. Like it has nice coverage. You can build it, it can be light coverage, it can be medium, it can be full coverage. Not like crazy full, but like medium to full. But still, like it's a really good product. You get a really nice amount for five bucks. They have a beautiful shade range and different undertones and you can always find something that fits you. And normally if I was going for like my regular base, I would just put the foundation directly onto the skin. 
but since I'm going for a more light coverage type look, I'm actually going to put it onto the sponge directly. I'm going to use my Sonia Cash Look. I haven't used anything different since I got it. I love this sponge. It gets so big and it's so soft and it literally blends out any foundation, any concealer so quick because it covers so much area in just one sponge. So I'm going to take a little bit of foundation on top of here. I'm going to start very little. This is actually kind of a lot and then build up if you need to. The reason why I don't really mind not taking off my glasses when I put on foundation is for one, so that I can see, and two, I try not to put foundation under my eyes because I'm already going in with concealer and that's just gonna cake up after a while, so I don't really need the foundation under my eyes if I'm going in with the concealer, so I try to avoid that area, so it's not that big of a deal for me to stay away from the under eye and to keep my glasses on, if you've ever wondered that. <laughs> All right, so I love the finish of this foundation. As you can see, since I went in with a lighter hand, it doesn't cover completely. You can see my little scar here, but you, oh my gosh, I almost spilled this on my laptop. As you guys can see, it's like a second skin. It's obviously something there kind of covering up and evening out the skin tone, but you can still see your natural face peeking through, which I think is really nice when going for a softer glam type look or more natural coverage. And this foundation is definitely it. And if I wanted to, I could go back in with another layer of this and it would cover that right up. But right now it's perfect for the look that we're going for today. I love the finish of this foundation. It's very very like soft it doesn't dry down too matte which a lot of matte formulas I try and stay away from I do have oily skin so I do lean more towards matte foundations but I don't want anything that's literally gonna dry my skin out and a lot of matte foundations lean towards that way you know this one is like perfect it stays matte it's like a it's like a satin finish like that in between i don't get super oily after using this foundation it's just a overall very nice foundation to look into especially if you're starting off with makeup definitely invest in one of these if you haven't tried them out because they are amazing okay end of discussion all right, so moving on, we're gonna go ahead and do our concealer. So for my concealers today, I'm actually gonna mix two concealers. I'm gonna use Too Faced Born This Way in the shade Maple, and then my Heart Shape Tape in the shade Tan Deep Sand. I love mixing these only because I like the lighter highlighted look that the Shape Tape gives me. Honestly, I'm not the hugest fan of the Shape Tape, but I do like the color of it and mixed with the Born This Way. Anything mixed with Born This Way is literally amazing this is my all-time like favorite concealer I can't stay away from this like this makes for an amazing face and when you're going for a soft glam look everyone wants a little coverage to feel a little more covered up a little more concealed hiding a little more blemishes and concealer is the way to go for that rather than the foundation you don't want to look crazy dry you don't want to look crazy cakey after putting on so much foundation or a full coverage foundation go with the fuller coverage concealer on top of that foundation to conceal your under eyes and that's what's gonna make you look like super snatch super natural skin and super like flawless rather than going in with that foundation okay so we're gonna go ahead and start concealing I'm gonna take some of my Too Faced Born This Way and start applying some under the eye like I said and since I'm going in with two full coverage concealers I'm not gonna go too crazy with either one I'm gonna keep it like in equal parts I'm applying this everywhere that I would normally under my eyes on the nose the bridge of the nose under my nose to highlight my cupid's bow area on the chin and on the forehead so now we're going to do the same with the shape tape and then we're going to take our swing cash sponge and blend that out so now i'm going to go ahead and start setting under my eyes and everywhere that i put concealer so i'm going to go ahead and go into my huda beauty powder you don't really have to use a specific setting powder under the eyes for soft glam if you want to you can go for like a more luminous you really don't have to do anything specific with this step as long as your concealer is set and in place you should be good to go all right so now that that is all set and done i'm gonna go ahead and do my brows off camera and then i'll come back for the next step all right so now brows are done and as you can see i've been loving that more fluffy like blown out type of brow i think it's really flattering especially with like a look like this like softer glam i just think it works perfectly and fits the face beautifully for what we're going for so i've been talking a lot with my hands i don't know what this is about but 
we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next step of the routine for the next step normally I would go in with a cream contour oh my god Normally, I would go in with a cream contour or cream bronzer, but not today, okay? I'm gonna stay a little more on like the less coverage, but beautiful, soft skin type look. And I think that this would be way too harsh for the look that we're going for. While I am gonna keep this out because I need the mirror, we're gonna actually move on to something else. So I'm actually gonna use a powdered bronzer. Today, I'm actually gonna be using something that you guys have already seen on my channel, like a lot of these products because I love them so much. This is a black. Black Radiance Pressed Powder in the shade Rich Mahogany and I'm going to use this to lightly bronze the skin. So really we're going to keep it more so out towards the edges of the face than we normally would and we're going to lightly start to bring it forward. And you want to keep it really blown out but not too blown out. <laughs> Oh my gosh. And as you can see, we still have that warmth on the face without it being like that harsh contour, super glam look that we're like so used to reaching for. Well, us full coverage people are used to going for. Especially me, because I love a good, okay. Especially me, because I love a good bronzer and I will go crazy if you let me. We're gonna keep it toned back a little bit tonight, okay? And now we're gonna go ahead and move into the next step, which is going to be blush. So as most of you guys know, I actually don't use blush as my blush. I actually go in with eyeshadows. I'm gonna take my same usual palette because I just love it that much to use as a blush. Mixing my same shades when I'm actually gonna lean a little more towards a warmer shade than I normally would. We're gonna get a good amount of product on the brush. Not too crazy, but enough, okay? We love a good blush moment, okay? Don't judge me. And I'm gonna pat it onto the skin first. We're just gonna tap it onto the face. And as you can see, it just gives it like a soft warmness. And like I said, we didn't bring that bronzer up to the front and it like left the center of our face looking kind of bright. But this blush is gonna bring that all together. And as you can see, this side of my face looks a little more cohesive than this side. I'm gonna do the same on the other side, just tapping it in. And I also like to sometimes even pull it onto the forehead just to make the whole face look a little more cohesive. And I'm also gonna pull this over my nose. Normally I would put it on the tip, but for this look, I'm actually gonna go over the bridge. And maybe a little bit on the tip. <laughs> It's like a little bit you see that how like the face just kind of like it makes a little more sense structure wise now i'm gonna go back in and do a, a little bit of cleaning up you guys know the usual going in with a little bit of setting powder under your contour and your bronzer but i'm not gonna go as sharp as i normally would but just enough to get everything nice and clean because nobody likes a sloppy face okay the bronzer goes down a little too far don't worry grab a little setting powder don't leave it if it looks a little crazy okay you want to make sure that we look good Okay, so I'm just gonna go in and do a little bit of cleanups and then I'll be right back. All right, so we are back and here's how we are looking. You guys probably can't see too much of a difference, but to me, it makes a difference. I just like make sure everything is right, tight, and in place. So now we're actually take a break from the face and move on to the eyes. So I'm gonna give you guys a really nice, subtle, soft eyeshadow look to match the glam so that you guys get a feel. You can always change around the colors and make it a little more you, but just so that you guys know how to get on that softer glam side while still like eyeshadow, because not a lot of people actually like leaving their eyes bare. I personally don't. I always try and put a little bit on my eyelids, whether it's bronzer, whether it's just like one shadow and I just lightly dust it all over the face face or all over the face what slow down okay let's not get ahead of ourselves all over the eyelids just to make my eyes not look so light compared to the rest of my face I don't know it just looks plain and just like empty and weird so I'm just gonna show you guys how I create a little look to match with the face that is not too crazy but you're still having fun on the eyes and it just brings the whole look together all right so I'm actually gonna zoom you guys in a little bit so that you guys can see me a little bit better so now I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use one palette which is gonna be my morphe 35m I've had this palette for such a long time it's so dirty but I actually love this palette because it has a nice mix of everything I feel like and a quick tip just use a less dense brush that's like my only tip really for soft 
Glam Less Dense Brush. So I'm going to start off with this one. It's very fluffy. It may look a little dense, but this is actually AOA Studios E129. I'm going to use something like this just to define my crease a little bit more so that we can really get started with the eyeshadow look. So I'm going to start off a deeper chocolatey brown shade, and but I'm going in very lightly. And blending that. Starting on the very edge of my face. Edge of my face? What am I talking about today? On the outer corner of my eye. And I'm going to really make sure that I'm staying light handed. Because I want to kind of smoke that out. Let me pull my hair back so that you guys can actually see. Can you guys see here what I'm doing? Just lightly carrying that shadow all the way across the eye. Alright, so once that's done, as you guys can see, this is what we're working with so far. We just have a nice neutral brown shade on the lid so that we're creating a little base for us to work off of. So now I'm actually going to grab a nice like detailed brush. Not really, it's still kind of fluffy, but it has that nice little angle to it. Oh my gosh. I'm going into this cream white shade. I'm just going to take this lightly, really just to kind of set my lids again. Not really for the color, just to kind of set that area for the next step. And it'll also help to blend that brown onto the crease so that it's more of like an ombre look onto the lid. I mean, super simple step. And then you can even go back and forth and grab that brown. The brush that we use for the brown and to blend those together a little bit more cute really soft right so now i'm actually going to take one of my like favorite highlights that you guys see me use like all the time this is the naked cosmetics loose pigment in sierra nevada 2 and i'm actually going to open this up i'm going to stick my finger in there get a little bit of that pigment and put this onto the lid I'm kind of like blowing this out a bit because I don't want it to be too focused. I don't want this look to be super dramatic and like glittery. And I want it to be kind of sloppy. Like you can see it's not just directly on my lid. It actually went over onto the brown and into the crease of it. All right, so once we've gotten that color down and the base of our eyeshadow look is done, I'm actually going to go in with a more defined brush, like a tiny precise brush what I'm talking about here and I'm gonna take an even deeper brown shade and I'm gonna use this on the outer edge kind of smoke it out and add a little bit more to the eye look Really focusing this in like the outer V. Alright, so once that's done, I'm actually a huge fan of like a nice warm eyeshadow look. So I'm actually gonna go in with a warmer tone, like almost orange, like red, like in between there. And I'm actually gonna use this like in between that brown and that shimmer shade just to bring some more warmth back to the look. It'll blend really nicely with that brown and make like a new like warmer brown shade i'm also going to use some of this shade to blend those edges out to make those a bit softer as well just to bring the look home Alright, so eyeshadow is done and mascara is on. I personally just decided to go without the lash, but you can do whatever you really choose to do. Honestly, I don't own any like softer lashes. All of my lashes are pretty dramatic. So I thought it would be best just to stay with the mascara, but I think it adds a lot to this look, making it a little more natural, a little more soft. 
and that's what we're going for okay soft glam like it says it in the title it fits the description so we're gonna go with it all right so zooming back out we're gonna go back into the face we're gonna go ahead and highlight i'm actually gonna use my same pigment but i'm gonna go a lot softer than i normally would so i'm gonna take all this pigment the same pigment that we used on our eyelids just a second ago and i'm gonna take my nice highlighting brush i'm gonna take some of my elf Dewy glow mist and I'm gonna lightly, very lightly, go in with some of this highlight. And that's it. We're not gonna do any more. This is perfect. Rude. This is perfect. We don't need to do any more highlighter. As you can see, the skin looks really nice and glowy without being too blinding, and that's what we want. All right, so moving on to the lips, I'm actually probably gonna do my everyday lip combo. Y'all are probably so tired of seeing it, but I'm not. I'm in love with it, obsessed with it, actually. It looks so good, and I think that's what we're gonna go with a nice matte, nudie pink soft lip though so i'm gonna start by lining my lips with a nice brown shadow y'all know i use shadows in a lip brush to line my lips all right so here i just added my morphe lipstick in the shade kissy face right in the center and blended the out to those edges and here is the lip y'all have seen this so many times on my lips now you could go in with a nice gloss over top if you want that more glowy juicy lip look super simple and i love it it goes with literally every single look that you can think of so i'm gonna go ahead and add some last finishing touches to this look i will be right back to finish out the video. All right, so I am back. My hair is I just laid and slayed, okay, period, not too crazy. But I am back, here's the finished look, and I am in love with it. It's been a minute since I've actually done soft glam. Lately, when I've been doing my makeup, if I even feel like doing it, it's been either I go all out or I just don't do it at all. So it's actually kind of weird to be doing it, but I actually really love it. I miss it. Okay, this used to be my go-to look, my everyday go-to look, and I miss it. Like, it just looks so good. I look really nice and glowy, but not too crazy. Like, I look glowy in all the right places. My makeup just looks so nice. It's really flattering and i love this look but well, that's pretty much it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed please be sure to like comment and subscribe down below for more content like this also i do have other makeup videos so make sure that you click this video right here in the corner to go check some of those out or just wait till the end screen i hope you guys love this look just as much as i do because i'm literally obsessed it looks amazing and i hope to see you guys in my next video bye guys